All right, so here we have a quick unboxing and first thoughts on the Peak Design cuff and slide light straps that I'm using personally on a mirrorless camera body. All right, here's the strap that I currently use. It's the Black Rapid strap. It's more of a sling style, and I want to kind of compare a little bit later to the slide light that I got as well. Now, here's the cuff. It is a wrist type of strap. It comes with a strap, two anchors, and it comes with a bag. So originally I was in the market for more of a hand strap. I saw this and I used a G7X as well and I thought this would go hand in hand since it kind of comes with something similar. So here's the package contents, the pouch that I mentioned earlier, sticker, quality control, and here's the extra anchor. Now you have two of these in total. One is used for the camera and one is actually already connected to the strap and you use it like this so when you're not using it you kind of wrap it around and connect it so it's similar to like a bracelet at first i didn't think this made any sense and i didn't think i would ever use it like that but actually after having the slide light in conjunction with this i find that i could wear this and then keep it on because depending on what i needed for at that moment i may want it on my wrist or quickly change to more of the slide strap here's how it connects very easy i saw some reviews say that it was harder than what it seemed to connect in the back plate here when you push up as you push down on your thumb it kind of goes against each other and it won't work maybe they had a defective device or maybe they updated it i have no idea but it's very easy it seems to be sturdy at least for this small size rig and this is how it looks when you hold it and you're holding the camera together at the same time now here's a slide light they have the slide it does kind of look like a seat belt style strap the slide light looks a little bit bigger and when I got to see it, it just looked a little bigger than what I wanted. I mean, the only difference between this and the slide light or slide and the slide light is the slide light is a thinner type of band. Now this one comes with four anchors in total. You have extra ones here that you can use for spare, the sticker just like prior. And here you have an Allen key that you can use to tighten up the quick release plate on the bottom. Here's this quick setup, guys. I usually don't actually read directions, which is kind of silly, but I like to just be hands on and take a look at it. Now, here's the strap. This has some kind of like grippy material here, but to be honest, um, it's supposed to be if you carry it on your shoulder. I would never carry a strap on my shoulder. It could easily fall off. And when I did it, it didn't really seem grippy on the t-shirt. It just seemed like it was sliding just like if I had it on the other side. So I wouldn't carry a camera like that anyway, so it doesn't really matter now or at least it doesn't matter to me now here's a strap it does slide very easily i also read that this clip that isn't really a lock but it seems to lock it in place for me it seems fine with a, at least a lighter setup here's the quick release plate i'm personally not using the quick release plate i have a l bracket that i use for arca swiss style now the only time i can picture using it or wanting it is if i keep adding to this peak designs uh, line up and get a peak design capture or capture pro camera clip and then i can see where you have to have it and then you can just put it on the bottom of your camera i just don't want all these attachments and as you can see it fit the arca swiss just fine okay so at first when i saw these anchors hanging off the camera i thought it looked a little messy but actually after having it on here it's not as bad as you may think so i have them on the two top for regular strap use and one in the bottom now this is just using it like a regular camera strap on the top corners and then if you want to go ahead and sling it, you can go ahead and lower this tab and make some more room and put it around your arm. And then you can just clip onto the bottom. Now, my anchor is on the corner of my bracket because it has a hole for a hand strap. Now, it probably will hang a little better if you have it towards the bottom where the, your normal plate would be because it might help to anchor the camera downwards because mine naturally kind of wants to hang down or kind of outwards where the lens is poking straight ahead kind of like this right here now it doesn't really bother me because you can easily just twist it down and hang down or hang freely it could have something to do with those triangle rings that i have as well uh in the corners and here's the quick release plate it has a little rubber friction pad on the top and i'll save it for later if i get the clip Okay, so what I do like about this is it's very compact. Now, compared to my Black Rapid strap, it can only fold so much because of the padding on the shoulder. One thing you may have to keep an eye on on the sling or sling light is the metal buckles. You don't want to just throw that in your bag on top of your camera. So I tend to put mine in the pouch it came with along with the tools or I just throw it in my pocket. Now here's the Black Rapid strap with the sling style. You can't get that thing that goes across to kind of keep it from moving. Like a lot of people have a problem with the strap sliding around. But that's not really the real issue you can anchor these these plastic clips to stop or give you enough room to how much you're going to slide or sling it around 
and you can clip in the back as well to keep it from sliding or slinging it around but this is the problem that you have with the black rabbit straps it just dangles pretty freely and when i used like even a 7200 and a mark 3 and a 5 dsr it just seemed a little a little too much going on and i never felt comfortable just walking freely with it bouncing around especially if i'm carrying other gear so it kind of defeated the purpose of having it instead of a regular neck strap so i kind of stopped using it for quite a while now so when i seen this i was pretty excited and as you can see here this is it using it sliding it up really easily just like just clips you just pull up and pull down and this is just using it as a neck strap so it's really like a two-on-one compared to a regular black rabbit strap you can use this as a regular strap lower one side and then you can carry it over your shoulder like a sling style so as you'll see in a second i'm going to go ahead and transform it to a sling and clip unclip one of the anchors on the top corner and then go ahead and put it on the bottom and like i said mine does kind of hang like it is right now when i put my clip right here in the bottom corner because it's just the way it's positioned and i think when you have the clip onto the actual base plate because where it's positioned it helps to hang low but as you can see in a second i just tilt it downwards anyway and it, it'll hang just fine i have no problem with it even hanging like this with a mirrorless body because it's small now if i had a big 7200 hanging off of here or something weird like that obviously that wouldn't work well and due to the long lens and weight it'll probably naturally hang downwards like that anyway so this is the same kind of idea with the sling style how you can just pull it up the whole strap kind of just moves along with the camera you can tighten it up very easily and when you tighten it up so much on the back it just stays there even when you move there's no bouncing around it's still going to move but it's not going to dangle like the black rabbit strap which i really like so you can use it with an l bracket if your l bracket has a slot for a strap or a hand strap so it works well and here's me folding it up again so you get a different angle of the size comparison it's not that it's that big of a deal but it kind of is because the padding like i said you can't fold it but so much it's a very useful product now if this is helpful at all please hit like and subscribe or visit www.howtoandreviews.com till next time